Hello, hi, and shalom to you. My name is Edward, the prophet of the land. Beloved, I have an awesome news for you this day, and I believe that the Lord is about to do such an awesome stuff in our life. This year is a prophetic year, and I know, and I know that the Lord can do greater works as you have already started. Beloved, do you know your numbers? Do you know that 2012 have been prophesied and ordained for this particular moment in time? Beloved, open your Bible with me through um, the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 2, and I read, In the year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by the book of Numbers of the year specified by the word of the Lord through Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in desolation of Jerusalem. Beloved, Daniel understood numbers. Daniel understood times. Therefore, the Lord endowed him with a greater works that he prophesied a whole bunch of stuff in our lives that we had to understand and know what time we are in. 2012 is such a prophetic number that, brother, when you know, it will change your perception about this year. Therefore, brother, if you had to go through the book of um, the scriptures, through Genesis to Revelation, it will all deal with numbers. And these numbers uh, could blow your mind if you had to get a revelation and perception towards it. From the book of Genesis, if you had to read from um, um, Genesis, from Seth to Adam, sorry, from Seth to Noah, have a 12 generation intervals. And from Sham to Jacob, have a 12 generation. The Lord God used 12 generations to establish his purposes and his glory to, to, to govern mankind, beloved. I'm well optimistic that this year is a prophetic year. This year is the year the Lord has made, that you and I will be glad and, and rejoice in it. Therefore, brother, I need you to understand that today, being second of this month, is of no coincidence, it's of no accident that I'm here with you. So bear with me and, 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 and open your Bible that we may go through and, and see the revelations that the Lord has given to me, that I may give it to you. Um, before we go on, I will pray quickly with you that may the Lord God open your mind and your understanding and for you to understand what we have to say. May the Lord God open your mind. May the Lord God touch you. While you touch this screen, may you heal you from any infirmities. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I thank you, my Lord, for the opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Beloved, open your Bible with me once again and I will share with you what the Lord has ordained me to tell you at this particular time. Beloved, when you open up the scriptures, you will see that from Jacob, Jacob had 12 sons. And out of the 12 sons, the Lord God used this weapon to establish the rulership of, of, of the Israelites. And that, that being said, he used that to establish the Christian dome. Beloved, it's my earnest prayer that as we leave this particular year, uh, 2012 it's a prophetic year and it's my awesome belief that when you tap into the blessings the blessings will overwhelm you in every aspect of life beloved open your Bible with me to the book of Luke chapter Luke, Luke chapter 1 verse 26 and I read now in the sixth month an angel Gabriel sent by God to a city in Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, the virgins. The virgin's name was Mary. On the sixth month, the Lord sent an angel to um, a Mary, the mother of Jesus, that he, she, she, they prophesied into her life that she would give birth to a, a savior. Today being on the second and the sixth month, it's a prophetic year, it's a prophetic month, and the 2012 is a prophetic year that the Lord God will use to establish his kingdom in, in, in our reign. Therefore, it's my earnest desire that you believe and tap into the blessings. Beloved, when you open your Bible, uh, um, when you open the Bible through uh, the New and the Old Testament, the Lord have established the number 12 in such an awesome ways. The number 12 representing um, the year of governance. Beloved, I'm asking today, as the Lord establishes governance in your life, as the Lord God establishes his throne in your life, as the Lord God establishes his, his rulership in your personal lives, if no, uh, that today I summon you to come to the Lord, believe in the Lord, uh, that this year is the year that the Lord has made, so therefore rejoice and be glad in it. Today being on the second, it's of no accident that I'm here with you. And the number two is the number that the Bible says, when two shall agree on anything, it shall, it, 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 it shall be accomplished. I have believed it and I agreed it.
Do you agree with it? Do you believe it? If you do, then bear with me and go with me uh, uh, to the, through the scriptures and see that the number 12 is a divinic number that the Lord has used to establish his, his throne and his power in our lives. Beloved, go with me on the book of John. The book of John chapter 2 verse 6 and I read, Now there were set, now there were set three Sorry, and I take it again. Now there were set three six water pots of stone, according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing twenty and thirty gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, "Fill the water pot with water, and they shall they shall be filled." And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, "Draw some out and take it to the master of the feast." And they did, beloved. When Jesus went into um, uh, a feast, a merrymaking, that was a, mer a, a wedding, and Jesus commanded that they should fill up a pot, a six different pot with water. Beloved, what that implied with us is that at this month, at this particular time, at this particular time, the Lord God has sent me to you to let you know that at this six months, he wants you to fill up your pot, pots that were empty, pots that have nothing in it, about to fill them up. Ah, that will turn into a wine. That will turn into a glorious feast. To bring to your happiness, you needed this month. Uh, even though the six months might have passed from the beginning of this year, you might have not seen anything. You might have not known where you you were heading. But I'm believing that the number six is a number of men. Therefore, when you believe in it, the Lord God will do such an awesome stuff. The number six is a prophetic number. The number twelve is a number of governors. The Lord God is about to govern your life. The Lord God is about to do such an awesome stuff. Ah, to reactivate you, to retake you from 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 the grass. To grace and I believe that when you believe with me when you conform with me the Lord God will do such an awesome stuff therefore allow me to issue a warrant to intellectual arrest at this moment and that the Lord God is well able to do exceedingly abundantly more than you ask for when you look through the book of revelations the Lord God made mention of a 12 pearls this 12 pearls re re represent riches 2012 had to be a year of prosperity and riches when you go on again and the Lord God did with that you have they have 12 angels and New Jerusalem at the book of Revelations. These 12 angels, these 12 angels means that the Lord God is about to issue a, a, a prophetic divine protection in your life. These 12 represent each month. There's a specific blessing that will come into your life. That I'm believing that the Lord did not just use 12 just for the sake of it. Because this day, the Lord saw it. That he prophesied in a whole bunch of ways. Daniel made mention that uh, those who have the understanding of the scriptures will read and understand. Therefore, it's my last prayer that when you turn the Bible and you read it, get understanding and may it increase you uh, from grace to grace. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord touch you. Go with me again to the book of the book of Genesis. That says that before Moses and his disciples will go to the promised land, Moses then sent 12 spies to go to the promised land so that they will be able to, 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 to go and take over their inheritance. Beloved, it's my earnest prayer uh, that the 12 wasn't just used for the sake of it. This year is the year that you had to get what you deserve. This year is the year that you had to get all what the Lord has given to you. Strive it and take it. It's my earnest prayer uh, that we will succeed in every part of you. Even though six months might have passed by already. The Lord God don't need six months to make anything different. As a matter of fact, he, the Lord God created the day in seven days. So six months is a lot of year, a lot of months that the Lord God can use to change anything in your life. What has gone wrong? Is your relationship issue sour? Is your marriage gone down the drain? Is your finance, financial situation off record? May the Lord God have mercy. May the Lord God find its it's grace and mercy on you. I believe. Stay tuned and I will share such an awesome revelation and our next segment. May the Lord God be with you. Amen and amen.